Hi guys, this is Soro. In this video, we will learn how we can create online notes app using MIT App Inventor. So in this app, we can log in with our Google account and we have a logout button also. So if you have suppose two email ID, okay, in your mobile phone, so you can log in with both different ID and you will get both different results. Okay, how we can create this app? Let's see. And first we will see the final result of this app. So you can see that's my app here and that's the button login with Google. And whenever someone click on this login with Google button, so they will get the all Google accounts. Okay. And you have to select one account. Okay. So let me just click on this here and you can see that's my account. Let me just select this one account and click on OK. And you can see there's nothing and you can see notes now and you can see save button logout button and you can see the email id that i have logged in this one email id from this email id okay and let me just write something this is from my seven to nine six id okay data this is data from my seven to next uh seven to nine six id this one id click on save simply now click on logout button now you're logged. Now click on login with again, and I'm going to log in with my another email ID. Okay, so I'm going to log in with my another email ID, and you can see the coding burst at the red gym. That's my email ID right now. Now let me, and there's nothing right now. Okay, there's no text, and I'm just type here this data from TCB email. Okay, now just click on save button. Now let me just log out, and let me just log in with my previous email ID. Okay, log in with my another SOR email ID and you can see that's the data I have. Okay, and you can write anything here also again and just you need, just need to save, click on save button. Okay, then click on log out and log in with again uh, my the coding bus at the red gmail.com. This one and you can see this data from DCV email. So let me show you how we can create that app. Okay, so here we go. So we are using your MIT app inventor to create this app. Click on start new project and your project name is notes 007. That's my app name. So that's my first screen. Okay. So I'm going to drag and drop your one layout. In the left side, you will find layout. Just drag and drop this vertical arrangement and make it with this fill parent and hide this fill parent. Change this background color to something uh, like I'm going to make it black and then click on user interface and drag and drop this here one button. Click on this vertical arrangement and make it align vertical center, align horizontal center. Click on this button and just change this text to login with Google. Okay, something like that. You can change something else here. Now, let me just design this button. Go to the background color, custom, and I'm going to use here some tile color and change this font bold and make this text color to white. Okay, this one is looking pretty fine. I'm going to make this font size 20. Fine. So we are going to log in with Google. Okay, so for that, we need one extension here. Open new tab and just type here Google account extension Pure Avida. So that's the website where you will find almost all extensions. And you can see account manager pick. So what we can do here. We just need to scroll down and you will find here the uh, typhoon google account extension aix file okay click on it wait some seconds now go to the mit app inventor and in the left side you will find extension option click on import extension click on choose file this one your avita typhoon account okay this one open this and click on import now we need to just drag and drop this here simply now that's our first uh, design okay for this app now make sure this should be visual off now drag and drop another one click on this layout again and here we need to drag and drop vertical arrangement and make it hide this fill parent and make this with this fill parent okay now we need to drag and drop your one vertical scroll arrangement under this vertical arrangement okay and make this one with this fill parent and make this one height and with this fill parent and click on user interface and drag and drop your one button like this and again one more button like this 
okay now click on this first button and make it with this fill parent and then change this background color to something you can say orange and change this text to save okay that's our save button and i'm to make it 16. now click on this button also and make this with this fill parent and change this text to log out okay and you can change this background color to red and change this text color to white okay and change this font bold it's fine now you can change this color also and now click on vertical arrangement 2 and then click on background and make sure this background color something so i'm to make your tile color just copy this color done click on this vertical arrangement and you can change this background color also to as it is like tell something now we need to drag and drop your one text box to display our data okay and make sure in the click on text box one and here you can see multi line just check it and hint text something like write uh, or something not okay and then make sure with this fill parent and then hide is i'm to make it fill parent okay and then change this background color also to tile something like this and change this text color to white and i'm to make this font size to at least 16 like this okay now uh, that's our save button that's our logout button and that's our area to put some text so that's the overall now let's code Okay, go to the block section, but let's hide this vertical arrangement too and make this vertical arrangement 1 visible. Now, go to the block, click on this button, here you can see button 1. It means whenever someone opens this app, so they can see this button, okay, login with Google. So, on this button, we will call here, call typhoon google account dot pick, okay. So, whenever they that one pick the Google account, then here you can see, click on this account and you can see, when typhoon google account picked that uh, particular account google account then we have to fetch the name and you can see that account name okay now we just need to use simple one thing is click on vertical arrangement and you can see set vertical arrangement visible should be false and just copy paste and make sure second one should be true okay that's the first step okay now we need your cloud DB to store our data okay so go to the design and in the left side you will find the storage option and drag and drop this cloud TV here okay now go to the block and click on this cloud TV now we have to first we need to fetch the data okay if there is something here so we just need to call your cloud db get value here okay and from which tag and we will get from this get account this one tag if the value is not there or if the tag is not there then we will fetch nothing okay so that's the thing now we have to display this name in some uh, label so go to the design and make this one visible off make this word arrangement visible true and click on user interface and just drag and drop this label here and make sure this text should be I'm to make it nothing and make this text align to center and make this font size is 14 is fine but text color I'm to make it white okay now go to the block and whenever we someone pick one account then we have to set this click on this label one this one label label one text value okay label one text value i'm to get from this one i'm to set this it means whenever i just pick the coding bus at the gmail.com so this will set my email id in this label okay now suppose i have there's no uh my there's there's nothing okay in my account and i have to I have to create the tag for that that email id okay if there is no account if there is account then that will fetch the data now what we can do so whenever someone writes something here then we have to save that data okay 
and we have to create account also so how we can create account and how we can save the data so for that we need to just call one thing here on this button too okay and go to the design and you can see save this one and this one is button 2 okay so go to the block and click on this button and whenever someone click on this button okay so we have to save data so what can do what we can do here we will call your cloud DB to store data cloud DB and here you can find a store data a store value right and in which tag we have to store we will store this in label one dot text because that's our email ID click on label and you can see label one dot text this one so we will store this data okay in the label one dot text that's our that's our like a username something because that's our email ID and value to store and which value we have to store we will store the this one text box one dot text data so here you can see the text box one dot text data simply okay so now click on cloud dv and you will find whenever we got the value this one okay got value means whenever we store the data okay so we have we will call this one this will this method will call so we will check here if the tag is exist or not okay so for that we need your condition click on control and drag and drop this if okay and then we have to check click on logic and you can see this one and get tag okay so if the get tag is equal to label one dot text this one it means the tag is equal to our label dot text it means email id then we have to get the data so uh, click on this text box one and you can see set text box one dot text where you will find this one this one set text box one dot text from this value get value okay if suppose if there is tag if suppose there is no tag if i am from first time then we will use your else part and we will create one so for creating i am just using your store value option okay so just copy paste this and we will call your cloud dv dot store and tag should be label one dot text and the value to store we have to store is nothing okay so you can use this nothing because there is no accounts it means there is no tags then we will use it now go to the design and you can see logout button click on it and you can see button 3 so go to the blog click on this button 3 and on this button 3 what we can do click on this copy paste so set this vertical arrangement visible to make it true okay first one and make this one vertical arrangement two should be false simple so that's the overall app okay and you can upload this app in play store and that's really really very useful because anyone can use it with their google account they can store the data also because we are using your cloud db so but make sure before exporting this app click on this vertical arrangement make it visible off vertical arrangement one should be visible so that's your overall app okay so let me know if you have some doubt you can ask me on command and please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye